everybody, Russ and my Hammers 11. Hope you're all safe and well. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you don't miss any content we have coming up, as well as our weekly charity game shows, which conclude very, very shortly. Um, we've got a, a whole new series coming up soon, hopefully. So make sure you hit that bell icon so you don't miss any of the content we have coming up. Today is a, a second instalment of our new series, Away They Stories. Today's story is from author Robert Banks. Um, and Robert was kind enough to record it on his phone, um, which you're more than people can do. You can either record your stories or you can write them uh, down in email, write them or type them as an email rather. Uh, whatever you do, you can submit them to myhammers at gmail.com and we'll get you on the next episode. But uh, take it away, Robert. Thanks for your support, everyone. And um, come on, you irons. This is Rob, Rob Banks, uh, author of Irrational Hatred of Luton, West Ham Till I Die, Legacy of Barry Green, and An Irrational Hatred of Everything, still available on Amazon. Um, Russ asked me to uh, give some recollections of great away days, and God, there are many to pick from. Uh, I've been going away since 1983, so uh, uh, on and off. Um one that stands out for me is uh, when we went to Highfield Road, Coventry, in 94, 95. It would have been about February, March of 95, I think. And um, we were struggling big time at that time, funnily enough. Uh, so nothing really changes. Um, and Coventry were also struggling. They just appointed Ron Atkinson as manager, so it was his first game. And uh, travelled up there with the fanzine crew over land and sea. And uh, we had a game of football before the game in the local park. It was a lovely day, if I recall. Um, managed to blag a couple of spaces in the press box. And um, Coventry had also just signed Mike Marsh from us. And of course, he scored in a 2-0 win for Coventry. The game was completely unremarkable. Um... After the game, we went back into the, the, the press area and because it was Ron Atkinson's first game and he'd won, the place was absolutely heaving. He couldn't get anywhere near the, the interview uh, the interview area. So we were just waited patiently for him to finish doing what he was doing, spouting his usual nonsense. Um, and then the place just emptied. Um, Ron Atkinson had finished and there was no one there. And Harry came in, and there was just us. So we interviewed him for, for a few minutes. Uh, and then he went. And um, so that was it. We were here. We were there in the, in the, in the press area, just, uh, just the three of us, three or four of us. And um, Stuart came in, and he said, uh, Bar's over there, lads. Just help yourself. Uh, go when you want. So there was an... Uh, an invitation we couldn't refuse, so uh, we had a few drinks, courtesy of Coventry City FC. We had to pour them ourselves, but that was a small price to pay. And then a couple of the guys uh, ambled down. We had the run of the place, basically. We ambled down onto the pitch, had a wander around. We didn't have a ball with us. We'd left that in the car, but we kicked a bottle around on the pitch for um, uh, 10 minutes or so. Um, and then the groundsman came out and said, uh, all right, lads, it's uh, I'm locking up now. You're going to have to go. So um, about half past six, seven o'clock, we went home. Uh, usual, usual story. Uh, during those mid nineties away games, we got we got stuffed. We didn't perform. We didn't turn up, but we had a great day out. Um, and you know, let's face it, that's what following West Ham away is all about, isn't it? And at home, anywhere really. Um, okay, speak to you soon. Regards to everyone, and uh, it is still on Amazon.